Hi guys, so this week I'm just going to cover just one of the biggest issues a few of the students have been having. Now, if you haven't been having issues logging in or registering, then you don't need to watch this video. You can just carry on working at your own pace. Um, can I just remind you to hand in one screenshot each week into the, the Google Classroom assignment? That'd be great. Now, for all you guys that are struggling to log in and register, I'm just going to walk through this. So this process is exactly the same on the iPad, is exactly the same on the the phones, uh, although the phone experience wasn't particularly great. So I'm just going to walk through that. So the first thing is you need to make sure you have a Google browser. Now I use the Brave browser, but it's just basically a version of the, the Google Chrome. The website that you're going to want to go to is this one here, this edx.org. So you might not see this page, you might see the search page come up, but it, it doesn't really matter. You get all these awful little pop-ups that kind of you can just get rid of now it's these two buttons here that we want to look at this this sign in and register now if we go through the register process and then I'll go through the sign in process so if we click on the register now on this page the temptation here is to click on either the sign in button or to fill in all of your credentials and you actually don't do that with this what you do is you click on this Google button it's the Google button that kind of gives you access so if you click here and then just give it a couple of seconds it comes up with the Google login now the credentials that you are going to add into the email are going to be your school email and school credentials that you would normally sign in with with Google Classroom that's all it is you don't have to change anything so I'm going to set up a new account here so I'm going to click on here and then click next now just enter your password and then once you've entered your password you can unhide it if you if you can't see what it is other than that you can just press next and then it's going to give you all of your details that you you can fill in here so just give it your full name the full name can be different give it your public name that can be different also make sure you keep the email the same and you can also put your country in so with the country it's actually the UK it's right at the bottom so if you just click on the UK button um, and you can click on you don't need to click on that button if you don't want to so after that you just click create account okay so now we're in our username is here at the top tell us when the other thing you might want to do if it doesn't go to this page you might want to just go to your emails and make sure you get an email from edX now they're quite terrible actually they send so many emails but if you get that email it means you've registered if you didn't get that email it means you're not registered okay so just keep that in mind now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to show you how to log in okay so from this button here I'm just going to sign out and we're just once it goes back to this page, and we're back at the beginning now. Once it goes back to this page, we're just going to now click on the sign in button. So make sure you've got the email first. You can pause the video, go and check your emails, make sure you've got an email from edX. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes. So then we click on the sign in button. Now, once again, the temptation here is to sign in with your email and you don't do that if you enter your email or password here it actually won't work okay so just keep that in mind the button you want is this one here this Google button and whenever we look at these applications it's always the Google button that we, we try and find because it just makes the sign-in process that much easier so we click on the Google button and it logged me straight in but if it didn't log you straight in you would just enter your school credentials okay and once again we can see it's logged me in because my username is here on the top right hand side now once we've done that let's go and find the course we want so the course we want you can click on explore explore courses and then you can type in python basics and then it's data science okay so if you want to pause this video and type then that's absolutely fine you can do that um, and pause the video wherever you need to of course so now we've got that the one we're looking for is this one here that says IBM so Python data science IBM so click on this and it says launch your career in data science and just scroll down 
Now, you've got all these paid for things. Now, don't worry about any of that. This is a completely free course. There are a few things we can't do in the free course, but most of it you, you can do. Now, you can click on the program overview or you can go straight to the course. Now, the course we want is this top one. And, and as you can see, there are loads more. So if you are working faster than others, you're more than welcome to carry on through all of these courses. But the one we want is this one here. So if we click on the title, um, and once again, pause the video if you want to and get to this point. So Python basics for data, data science, and then we click on view course. And we can see here, it's like a one week course and that's absolutely fine. It'll probably take us a lot longer, of course, because we're only working at an hour a week or whatever. Now it says you can enroll here. Okay, so it started the 10th of February, that's absolutely fine. And then down here, you've got all of the details about the course. So the first thing we want to do is just press enroll. So now we're enrolled, um, it says you can purchase, and this is getting a lot of people as well, because it's not actually what we want to do. We do not want to pay for this. And, and a, lot of what they, a lot of what edX do is they've kind of got these paid promotion bits, and we don't want that, okay? So what we want is to come down just a little bit further. So look, I just scrolled down, and it's the or, and we're going to do this. We're going to audit the course. So we press this, audit this course. And once you've clicked on that, you're going to get more paid data stuff. But once again, we don't need to do any of that. It also tells us that we're going to expire at this point. And that doesn't really matter either because we can re-enroll um, straight away. So it doesn't, that doesn't even matter either. What we want to do again is scroll down. And once again, pause the video um, to get to this point. It's absolutely fine. You've got some welcome messages you can read. And then you have all the data. Now, in here, we have the welcome video. We have the audit this course and then we can go straight on. So what we want to do is we want to watch the welcome video and then we want to go to this module one and start learning. Now, please be aware the review questions are not available to you. That That is a paid part, but all of these lessons we can take, we can do. We can't, we can't do the review question, which is this one here that I'm hovering over now. And we also can't do the final exams either. So um, the final exam, the final assessment, we we can't do and we can't rate the course either we can but we can do all of the modules um other than the review questions so just keep that in mind there will be some areas that won't be open to you and like i said last week work at your own pace so let's just check this out to make sure you guys are happy and let's just click on this first module which actually starts here we can click on this and we can see we've got our free tabs so we can say, right, let's play the video. And you should definitely watch the video because a lot of the information is in the video. And what I do is I run the video alongside the playground. So the playground is here. This is like a quick lab, if you like. And if you scroll down, every lesson has its own quick lab. So I hope that was useful. If you have any further questions, um, please don't hesitate to um, give us a, a comment and I'll try and sort that out and I'll do some more of these videos if you need, to, need them. Other than that, I'll see you next time.